These six online video presentations are created from our own experiences dealing with thousands of photographers' printing requirements and as such are biased according to what we have found to be successful. Don't panic if you miss out on some of my commentary. I'll be covering a lot of ground in this brief presentation. You'll find the complete text of this lesson below this video. Why not print it out for your study notes? Many of our customers have asked me to produce this up-to-date guide, so let's get started. Lesson 3 – Professional Photographic Inkjet Paper Essentials In this lesson, we'll be dealing with these six subjects. Number 1 – Office Inkjet Paper versus Photographic Inkjet Paper Photographic inkjet paper versus professional photographic inkjet paper. Number three, a huge choice or should we go for an easy workflow? Number four, what size of paper should I be buying? Number five, how much paper do I really need to keep in stock? Number six, hopefully a definitive professional photographic inkjet paper guide. And number seven, Inkjet paper do's and don'ts. Office inkjet paper versus photo inkjet paper. Now surely all inkjet paper is the same. I just buy the cheapest paper for text printing and the cheapest inkjet paper with the description photo on it for printing photographs. That's, that's bound to be okay surely. Or do I buy the most expensive paper I can find and only print the absolute minimum number of photographic prints that I can get away with? Well, no, we've got two examples there of two extreme views. In the very early days of inkjet printing, there were really no dedicated photographic inkjet papers. There was even a school of thought that you should simply print directly onto traditional light sensitive photographic paper. That idea soon stopped once it was realised that inkjet paper does a lot more than simply provide an inert base for a coloured liquid. Simply put, general purpose office inkjet paper is manufactured in vast quantities to sell at the lowest possible price and has a minimal paper coating, which is, allows acceptable text reproduction when using a typewriter, a laser printer and an office inkjet printer. When printing text and line art, it works well. But when printing graphics, the block colours tend to be bland and lack definition. When printing a photographic image, the result is usually terrible with extremely washed out image with hardly any graduated tones. Photographic inkjet paper versus professional photographic inkjet paper. When you visit a supermarket or an online store, you will see an amazing variety of very cheap inkjet papers with this description photo on the pack. In the majority of cases, these papers will take your inkjet printed photographic images to the next level of quality. You should be able to achieve an acceptable photographic standard. Certainly your family and friends will be pleased with your efforts and produce a recognisable photographic printed image. The danger here is that many professional photographers, camera club members, photographic studios and labs use these papers for their best quality photographic work. Now I must be honest here, there are a number of acceptable photographic papers in this market which perform well. And I have to say that there are many which really let down an otherwise good ink and printer combination and hold back your print quality. It's only when you compare it with a print created with a top quality professional photographic inkjet paper that the huge differences become apparent. The best way to tell whether you fall into this category is to print test your favourite inkjet papers. You need to obtain a calibrated, accurate sample print from your inkjet paper supplier, produced on their best quality professional photographic inkjet paper 
and also download or get them to email you the same image to print onto your own existing paper stocks. In our case, you can email print at marrot.com or print at marrotusa.com and ask us for our, simple, our sample test print. Make sure you give us your full postal address, incidentally. In the meantime, while you're waiting for your print to arrive in the post, download the same test image JPEG from www.marrot.com forward slash print or www.marrotusa.com forward slash print. Once you start test printing from a test image, the differences soon start to show. As in the previous lesson, I advise you to look for a good rich black, smooth graduations, punchy saturated primary colours, accurate pale flesh tones, but this time I want you also to look for a pure clean white in your highlights, which means that in the areas of your image that appear white, where you have no ink applied, the colour of the paper takes over in the image making process. The light shades of colour or neutral tone are made up of tiny dots of ink which are spaced out further to expose a larger proportion of paper than ink, which the eye perceives as a lighter density. So your base paper colour is vital in setting the white tone extremity of your colour or monochrome photographic inkjet print. If your print produced on your existing papers compares well to a certified accurate test print, fine. You can leave things as they are. If your print falls below the standard of the test print supplied, you need to start trying out better quality papers. The most economical way to compare your existing inkjet papers with the higher quality photographic inkjet papers on the market is to try their sample media packs. To try out our own professional photographic inkjet papers, simply email us at sample at marrot.com or sample at marrotusa.com with your full post address. We will send back free of charge our sample media pack giving you one of our professional photographic inkjet papers of each type, each marked up on the reverse side with the identification of the paper and full description. You can see here illustrated. You will find a link to click at the bottom of this YouTube movie, which will also allow you to apply for our free sample pack. This free offer applies to everyone worldwide. Now, le lesson three, huge choice versus easy workflows. For those of you who apply for our free sample pack, you will notice that we only provide eight varieties of paper, whereas many of our fellow inkjet paper suppliers offer an enormous selection of papers. Our logic for this is that as a major provider to the professional photographic industry, our commercial customers want to offer their clients the very best photographic inkjet paper in each of the main categories of finish, but they do not want to give their customers too much choice. Otherwise, their, so their stock holding and just-in-time purchasing gets out of control. We offer the absolute pinnacle of German photographic inkjet paper in each of the main categories of photographic finish. And because we limit ourselves to only eight products, we buy in huge quantities. So we're able to sell to you at a lower price to keep you competitive. And because we have so few paper product lines, we are always in stock to allow you to reliably order from us at the last minute. Another advantage of limiting yourselves to a smaller range is that you can quickly build up 
a complete library of free custom printer profiles for each paper type. Safe in the knowledge that if a customer requests a single image printed out on a number of different finishes, your prints will all appear identical, whether on fine art or gloss or satin or whatever paper your client requests. We buy our papers directly from the German photographic inkjet paper mills in a standard oversized cube of paper and convert down to size in-house. So we can always provide exactly the paper size format that you need in either A-series sizes, US letter sizes, photographic preferred sizes, or whatever special size your clients request at no extra charge. This means that Marat and Marat USA are far more flexible than any other inkjet paper brand who commit themselves to a small range of paper sizes. Now what size of paper should I be buying if I'm in a commercial situation? Now, in addition to the usual A4, A3, A3 Plus and A2 sizes, Marat and Marat USA supply all the preferred US letter sizes. And in addition, because so many commercial customers like to print borderless in preferred photographic sizes, you are also able to buy in every photo size, such as 5 by 7 10 8 12 by 16 etc., in every finish. Also, we will cut any custom paper size you require. So for instance, if you need a five and a half inch by seven and a half inch, as you can get two sheets out of an A4 at this size, you can buy a hundred sheets for the same price as 50 sheets of A4, and you don't pay a cutting charge. So you can buy exactly the size you need for each job without paying extra. Our digital guillotines cut to an accuracy of one tenth of a millimeter, perfectly square with a crisp edge. Most professional photographers make the mistake of buying too many varieties of paper finishes in different brands and in many different sizes. My practical advice based on years of working with thousands of professional photographers and studios worldwide, is totally counterintuitive. Buy the best quality roto, uh, sorry, the best quality rotary paper trimmer your budget allows, which will cut over 19 inches. This will allow you to cut down your papers from A2 or 17 by 22 for the American market with ways. We show here an A2 trimmer, which allows you to cut down your A2 paper lengthways so you can create panoramics or widthways for any size you wish. Uh, you, you wish. Decide what, sh what your top four most popular pro photo inkjet paper finishes are and buy one pack of A2 or 17 by 22 of each. This stock will satisfy your walk-in portraiture customers who demand a same-day service. So you've got all of your A2 paper in stock for your favourite finishes. And when your customer decides on a 16, a 12 by 16 or 10 8 or any different size for a, a, a same-day service, you've got the paper ready to go. It's nicely custom profiled and you know you're going to produce a good result. Now the next uh, part of your stock, you look at your past six month sales in terms of common print sizes that you're asked for. Again, decide on your top four inkjet paper finishes and buy a small stock of those sizes and finishes. If you can, keep your brands consistent so that you always have the correct custom printer profile for each paper in that brand. Perform a stock clearance operation in your studio. 
run sales promotions specifically designed to clear your old dormant paper stocks. Try to end the situation which I see in virtually every studio I visit. A huge variety of different brands, finishes and sizes of paper that are not moving and are not generating profit. Here's a great tip which will help you to clear your old dormant paper stocks. Cut your papers down to 10 8 or 5 by 7 or 6 by 4 and try printing borderless then individually wrapped in clear cellophane. This makes an easy to sell product which you can mark down to your customers for mini portraits or family groups, for instance. We show here a great use for borderless printing from precision ready cut papers. Two self adhesive albums which accept 6x4 and 10 8 pages. You can very quickly assemble a complete album ready to sell to your clients in this way. Build up a relationship with your paper supplier. Once you build confidence in their ability to supply your papers quickly in exactly the size you require and are never out of stock, you can run your business with a much smaller in-house paper stock holding and as a result your cash flow and profitability will benefit.